لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونستهديه ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا ومن سيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له واشهد ان لا اله الا الله واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم بلغ الرساله وادى الامانه ونصح الامه وكشف الله به الغمه وتركنا على المحجة البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها الا هالي. اللهم صل وسلم وبارك على عبدك ورسولك محمد وعلى اله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهداه الى يوم الدين. اما بعد فان اصدق الكلام كلام الله وخير الهدي هدي نبينا محمد صلى الله عليه وسلم وشر الامور محدثاتها وكل محدثه في الدين بدعه وكل بدعه ضلاله and now that my brothers as usual I advise myself I advise you to fear Allah and to be aware that Allah is listening watching you wherever you are our topic today my brothers is very important for each Muslim يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون يا أيها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحدة وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والأرحام إن الله كان عليكم رقيبا يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وَمَنْ يُطِعْ اللَّهُ وَرَسُولُهُ فَقَدْ فَازَ فُقْرَ عَمِينَ أما بعد The glad tidings in the Quran is a lot We have many verses which make the Muslim very happy and he really make him trust in Allah and will have hope that Allah will be forgiving Same thing in the hadith of Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم there is a lot of hadith that also glad tidings for us and give you also, you know, the hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is also forgiving <coughs> and very merciful. One of these hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari, I quoted one hadith was narrated by the companions of the Allah Ibadah ibn Samit of the Allah وبعد أن الصامت السيد قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم من شهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وشهد أني محمد عبده ورسوله وأن عيسى عبد الله ورسوله وأن الموت حق والجنة حق والنار حق دخل الجنة على أي عمل كان Abad al Muslim narrated from Rasulullah sallallahu that Rasulullah said, Whoever bear witness testify that there is no God worth to be worshipped except Allah and no partner with Him, and also whoever testify and bear witness that Muhammad is the Messenger and the Prophet of Allah, and also Jesus Isa is the Prophet and the Messenger of Allah, and he believed that. The death is true, and the Jannah is true, and the hellfire is true. He will enter paradise on any kind of deeds. This is really that tiny from Rasulullah sallallahu But my brothers, it is not enough to testify or to bear witness there is no God worth worship only by the tongue. It's not enough. We are repeating Shahada twice in each Salah, isn't it? We say the tahiyyat billah, the first and the second one. It, but doesn't enough to say by tongue? No. Your audience must believe this. You have to believe this from the bottom of your heart. That there is no God worth to be worshipped except Allah. And you obey His commands and avoid all His don'ts. Same thing for Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it is not enough to say Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, Ashhadu an Muhammad Rasulullah. You have to believe everything he said. 
and to follow his command and to avoid all his don'ts. Yes, this is real belief of Allah and Rasulullah. When it comes to believing Isa alayhi salam, he is not, he is only a messenger of Allah. Why? He picked up only Isa, Jesus. He did not say to believe Noah is the messenger of Allah, to believe uh, Noah, to believe Abraham, to believe Musa, to believe Ismail, to believe Joseph, that they are prophets. He only picked up Jesus because the Christian believe that he is the son of Allah or they believe that he is is God. So we Muslim, we should not believe that we only believe Isa alayhi salam, Jesus was a prophet and a messenger of Allah. That's it. He was human being. He was flesh and blood. And any Muslim who really believe that Jesus is son of God, he is not a Muslim. Any Muslim believe that there are existing nowadays three religions, he is not a good Muslim. As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, he is actually denying Islam. Be aware, my brothers Muslim, that you are not permissible, you are not is not allowed not to believe, not even to think that the existing religions who called called religions Christianity and Buddhism and Buddhism, they are religion, they are not religion at all. Nowadays, this year, after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa after Allah had picked up Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa and he sent him to the nations, all nations, all mankind, all the prophets and the messengers before Muhammad, they were sent to a certain group, to a certain tribe only. But Prophet Muhammad sallallahu was a sign and was a saint to all mankind all over the world. وَمَا أَرْسَلْنَاكَ إِلَّا رَحْمَةً لِلْعَالَمِينَ Jinn and ins, not only to Arabs, like many people think, and then Arab think, no, Muhammad was only sent for Arab. This is absolutely nonsense. Prophet Muhammad sallallahu was sent, and he is the seal of the Prophet. He is the same. Nobody comes after Muhammad's house. But we believe in the books. We believe as Muslims that Allah has revealed books before Muhammad sallallahu the Gospel, <coughs> the Bible, the Torah, and the Injil. We believe that. We must believe. Because one of the Pillars of Iman of faith, the six, you know, one of the pillars of Iman that you should believe in all books was revealed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to his prophets and messengers. But we not suppose it is not allowed for us as Muslims, it is not permissible, it is haram that you as a Muslim to believe that the existing Christianity is a religion even if they call it themselves religion. The religion was only during Prophet Moses. The religion was existing during the life of Moses and the life of Jesus But nowadays after the Muhammad it's being cancelled completely. There is no religion after Prophet Muhammad was sent except Islam. And for information, all the messengers, all the messenger and the Prophet was sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, they were Muslims. Listen to this ayah. قُلْ آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَيْنَا وَمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَعِيلَ وَإِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ وَالْأَصْبَاطِ وَمَا أُوْتِيَ مُوسَى وَعِيسَى وَالنَّبِيُّونَ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ I repeat قُلْ آمَنَّا بِاللَّهِ وَمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَيْنَا وَمَا أُنزِلَ عَلَىٰ إِبْرَاهِيمَ وَإِسْمَعِيلَ وَإِسْحَاقَ وَيَعْقُوبَ وَالْأَصْبَاطِ وَمَا أُوْتِيَ مُوسَى وَعِيسَى وَالنَّبِيُّونَ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ لَا نُفَرِّقُ بَيْنَ أَحَدٍ مِنْهُمْ وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُسْلِمُونَ It is very clear in this ayah that Allah is clearing to us and telling us that all the messengers starting Noah and the end of and ending by Muhammad they were Muslims. 
So the people believed Noah, they died as Muslims. The people believed Abraham, they died as Muslims. The people who believed Moses, they died as Muslims. The people who believed Jesus, Isa alayhi salam, and died during his time or after him, they are Muslims. So the religion of Allah from day one, my brother, is Islam. Because all prophets and messengers, they were inviting, calling, propagating Islam. What is Islam? In a simple word. Al-Islam wa al-Islam lillahi wa al-Qiyadu lahu fi ta'ati wa al-Khulus min al-Shirk. Islam is to surrender to Allah and obey Him and to stay away from Shirk to take partner with Allah. This is Islam. This is what all messengers and prophets they were inviting people to them. Al-Wahdaniya, Al-Tawheed, Monotheism. They were calling people to Al-Tawheed, all of them. And this is Islam. But when Prophet Muhammad was sent by Allah, everything was cancelled. Al-Islam jabba ma qabla. Islam has demolished any religion before him. So we, as Muslims, should believe that the existing Christianity and Judaism and Mechanism are just anything. All ism, ism, ism are false religions. Yes, because they have changed the books, they have altered the book, they have swept all the books, the Bible and the Torah. It is the existing Torah, the existing Bible is not true. Because Jesus has and Moses never ever asked people to believe that he was God or Son of God. And the crucifixion is absolutely false. So the Christians are worshipping Jesus like Son of God or God. And they are worshipping the cross. Their sign of Christianity is the cross. Because they believe that Jesus was crucified. And we have in the Quran denied that completely neglecting that Jesus was crucified very clear in the Quran so you as a Muslim my brother you have to believe deeply out of your heart there is no religion existing after Muhammad sallallahu was sent except Islam and be aware that any Muslim believe that Christianity existing nowadays or Judaism or anything is a, is a religion he doesn't believe in Allah and he may be kafir الحمد لله الحمد لله كثيرا طيبا مباركا كما يبغي ولربنا وعظيم السلطان وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمد عبده ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم My brothers in Islam you must raise up your children to be proud of their religion to be proud that Allah made them Muslim the best blessing Allah gave us on this earth is Islam. It's no problem, no harm to live as poor, to educated, not educated, ignorant, whatever. The most important that you continue your life as a Muslim and you die as a Muslim. This is the real life. And this is the real victory for you. And this is really the best blessing Allah gave us. That He made us Muslim. Alhamdulillah. Look to other religions in our day. They believe in cows, they believe in crosses, they believe in monkeys as a, as a god, they believe in, you know, in pictures, they believe in things, you know, Allah. They are worshipping them. They are worshipping these things, you know, the idols. 
they are worshiping idols they are worshiping you know things created by human being i'm just wondering how can i believe and take him as a god something fabricated by human in factories in plants the people they have to think they have to pose how could i worship as they do like this to worship you know a statue idols pictures who made this god statue who made this you know idols human being mankind who did this how come i worship something made by human i hope they think both and they just evaluate what they are thinking we must only worship allah the creator the sustainer allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created this universe created us created everything existing on this earth and everything in his hand everything in his command ila arada shay qala lahu kun fa yakun whatever he wants to think to be done to be he said be and it will be allah gave us everything health gave us food gave us all kind in this and we then give him our back and then we go worship idols and crosses i want to ask a question i will not say my brothers because we only muslim brothers and by the way brother you are not supposed to say to any per any person he is not a muslim never call him brother why because allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said inna man mu'minuna ikhwa only a mu'minun which means a muslimun they are brothers you are not supposed to call a christian or a jew or a hindu my brother this is wrong you should be proud of your religion don't be hypocrite do not be hypocrite ever tell any non muslim my brother when my respect to some guy who is using giving lectures about islam he always say to a christian or he said my brother this is wrong he's not he's not you know giving us something from god he doesn't have any evidence by using brother to another when he become a muslim when he embrace islam yes then he will be my brother i am not saying that myself allah saying this in the quran i am not claiming this is from my own mind allah in the quran say inna man muyuna ikhwa the rasul صلى الله عليه وسلم also said al muslimu akhu al muslim بس that's it nobody else is my brother be proud of religion brother raise up your children my brother and the question i said i want to throw the question for everyone listen to this khutbah anywhere in the world think i want to the people who's listening to me now or watching me listen and ask yourself what do you know about death after life life after death ask yourself are you prepared to life after death are you aware that will be life after death are you aware of the questions you will be asked in the grave only muslim know that unfortunately many non muslim they don't know that you will be asked three questions when they go to the grave who is your god muslim answer allah who is your pro prophet what is your religion islam who is your prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam we muslim will be answering this question and they will be able no muslim they will say ha ha i don't know ha ha i don't know ha ha i don't know and they will be in the kingdom fight so i am giving this message in the end of my hope to all the muslim to ask themselves what is the purpose of your life are you prepared for death are you aware that there be life after death are you prepared to answer the question in the grave if you don't know read about islam then you will know اللهم يا رب 
يا كريم يا ارحم الراحمين اللهم كما احييتنا عن الاسلام امتنا عن الاسلام اللهم كما احييتنا عن الاسلام امتنا عن الاسلام اللهم لا تزغ قلوبنا بعد هديتنا يا رب العالمين اللهم لك الحمد الذي هديتنا لهذا وما كنا لنهتدي لولا ان هديتنا يا رب العالمين اللهم اعز الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم اعز الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم اعز الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر المجاهدين في سبيلك في كل مكان اللهم انصر اخوان المظلومين المهجرين المقتلين يا رب المعذبين في كل مكان فرج همهم نفس كربهم فرج عنهم بك سعيدين احمد حبيب تقبلتهم الشداء لا وجاءهم تقبل موتهم بالشهداء رب العالمين اعدهم من البلاد المسالمين الغالبين اللهم عليك من اداهم وقتلهم وشردهم احسن عدد اقتلوا بدد ولا تغادر من احدا ارنا بهم عذابك وتوفيق يا رب العالمين ربنا اتنا في الدنيا حسنه وفي الاخره حسنه وقنا عذاب النار وصلى الله على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين واقم الصلاه